What's up, everybody, and welcome to Watch With Jay. to be watching poltergeist i am not going to lie to you guys i am absolutely horrified just the picture of the movie like the little um movie photo or whatever before i push play it looked terrifying and i'm uh pretty scared i don't do well with scary movies but it is fiddle stick in october so we're gonna do what we gotta do but honestly you guys you know just to kind of bear with me if y'all see me jump run under the table yeah, you know, you don't see me on camera for five minutes. I'm probably hiding under my table. So if that happens, don't judge me, okay? I tell you, this is not my kind of thing. Just just try to understand that, all right? Um, there will be, of course, like always, a full watch along to this on my Patreon. So make sure you guys check this out. I am on the road to 7,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who's already joined my journey. And I hope if you guys do end up liking it, that you guys decide to subscribe and join the journey as well. Okay, I, like I said, just wish me some luck. <clears throat> That's a cute doggy. Oh, boy. That dog is smart. Oh, he's a cutie pie. She is adorable. She just sitting in front of the TV. Hello. What do you look like? Who's she talking to? The TV? Maybe she need to go back to sleep. Hello, I can't hear you. Oh no, she tripping. Y'all just gonna stare like kind of creepy low-key oh heck no nah. she was answering back too like i know that ain't no imaginary friend oh that's steven spielberg oh no nah. oh, she oh no nah. i'm not feeling that so far i'm not feeling that Oh, that's embarrassing. Get her in focus, boys! I know he embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Save her, Jim Youngblood! It's time to relax. Oh. Oh, dang. Tweety is gone to the afterlife. Oh, shit. Tweety, couldn't you have waited for school day? <laughs> That's, oh, 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 my God. No, she did. Who the hell is this guy? Hey, what the hell's going on? Come on, Come on, Steve. Move your set. Move yours, man. Oh, they gonna say who Mr. Rogers is. These two is petty. No, she not flushing it down the toilet. Why would you even do that? Like, you could have wrapped it up in something, put it in a plastic bag, threw it away. Why would you put it in the toilet? Oh my God, it can be feathers all in the toilet. Tweety doesn't like that smell. <laughs> For when he's lonely. Oh. When it's night time. Oh, it's okay. Oh, that little face. <clears throat> 
my god. Will you come on down out of the tree, please? E buzz. Oh, oh my god. You know, once I slept walked four blocks, I fell asleep in the back of this guy's car. Oh jeez. He drove all the way to work before discovering me. The cops came, they took this poor dude downtown. My father. Big. He, Big Ed has me examined for like bruises and hickeys. <laughs> and Caroline sleepwalks and she falls into it before there's any water. Have you ever have you ever dove off a three meter board, sweetheart? A three meter board is like an air pocket, sweetheart. When you dive off, it's like free falling, okay? Hi. Three meters. Hi. Yeah. Your diving days are over. We're talking Olympics, Diane. <laughs> Splash. Before, after. Before. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that game, Clue in the background. Why did the see why they put that creepy clown in that room? Oh heck no. Nah. Oh, Chewy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This one's getting closer. Is everything okay? It's laundry. Say goodnight tomorrow. Good night, Mom. Good night, sweetheart. I don't like the tree, Dad. Hey, it was here before my company built the neighborhood. I don't like its arms. It's a very wise old tree. It looks at me. It knows I live here. When you see the lightning, you count until you hear the thunder. You can count higher each time. That means the storm's moving away from us. One, One two, two, three. three. Next time you're going to be able to count to at least four or five. It's for you. Now you tell them to take a message, sweet pea. I don't want to take a message. <laughs> two... Three, four. Come on. Good night, Dana. Okay. <laughs> Five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they still ended up sleeping up in the air. this again oh no stay in bed sweetheart what the heck oh no oh no oh, no nope nope i'm moving out oh hell no girl wake up the parent wake the parent oh my god she, she a kid she don't know better Oh no, no, we leaving. We moving. Oh no, I'm moving. Mm -mm. They're here. Oh girl, we need to take you to therapy. Oh no. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, no. There was damage, yeah, the, the bedroom. I mean, there's stuff in pieces all over. Stop. Listen, I know, we've been listening to the when you said they're here my goldfish to school you know maybe this fall no, no answer, answer the question do you remember when you woke up and you said they're here well who did you mean who's here right who are you TV talking about people. <laughs> she looking she like what the heck oh no nah. take the tv away from her she don't need to look at jack oh no Girl, that scared me too. Oh, heck no. Nah. Oh, no, nah. we move. Move out. Why are you. Girl. TV people. Uh huh. Do you see them? 
Uh-uh. Do you? <laughs> oh, no. I think you're really going to enjoy this kitchen. Our latest development, we call this phase four. Yeah, I would have moved, too. Listen, uh, I've kept Dana and Robbie out of this, but Carolyn was here, so she knows, all right? But Dana would blab, you know? And oh, no, they still in that house. I think you should sit down, right? No, 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 no. Reach back into our past when you used to have an open mind. Remember that? Uh -huh. Just try to use that. Mm, okay. I'm going to cook and eat dinner. We'll go to Pizza Hut, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Is she excited about this? <laughs> what the hell? Are you crazy? Who jump and celebrate that? Oh, she need to take a nap, too. And just stay down there. You gonna put your kids with it? You don't even know what this is. I want pepperoni pizza. Oh, I want pepperoni pizza. I'm sorry, the floor needs more wax. Steven, come on, you do it. Oh. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with her? 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. God, that's a long time coming. It's like another side of nature, you know, a side that you and I are not qualified to understand. No, you crazy. No one's going in the kitchen until I know what's happening. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, you want to, that's another side of nature, right? She, man, somebody suck that mama. She pissed me off. Another side of nature. You lost your mind. And they left the, oh my God. Oh, no. Nah. They didn't try to get, they didn't try to take the other kid and run too? Girl, talking to that TV ain't it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. My God. You lost your daughter still. Mom, Dad, it's a tornado. Carolyn! I left her upstairs. Now you ran my belly. Oh, God. Carolyn! Baby, we're coming. God, look at him. Oh boy. I'll go check the kitchen. No! What does he see? Because he's sitting there staring. Oh, good lord. I'm like, what did she get sucked into? Diane? Sweetheart? Oh god, the TV. Diane! Did you find her? No, I looked everywhere. This, this is crazy. The swimming pool. Oh, please tell me she's not in there. They left. Oh, my goodness. This is too much. Money! Money! Oh, my God. Look at him. Not nothing! Girl, you don't you ain't getting it yet. Baby, where are you?
my god. Trying to hold ourselves together as a family. <laughs> yeah, he thought this was all sweet. They were not playing. Poltergeist are usually associated with an individual. Poltergeist disturbances over a fairly short duration. Are you telling me that all of this could just suddenly end at any time? Yes, it could. Unless it's a haunting. But hauntings don't usually revolve around living people. <laughs> Oh, no. Are you with us now? Can you, can you say hello to daddy? Oh, my God. That's just straight up creepy. It's mommy, sweetheart. Hello, baby. Can you see mommy? We're home, baby. We're home. Baby. Oh my God. Okay, Carol Ann, tell her to stay away from the light. Carol, Carol Diane. Give us a Girl, say it! What is wrong with you? Don't go near it. Don't, don't even look at the light. What the hell is this? Mommy, there's somebody here. Who's with you, baby? Who's with you? Who's with you? God, oh my God, my baby. Faster, she's just a baby. Help her, help her. Oh, I can hear it too. Mom. She just moved through me. Oh my God. I felt her. It's not my clothes. It's her, she's all over me. It's her, she's all over me. This is this is so sad to watch. Mommy! Oh no! Oh! Something took a bite out of me. You cut that? What? Wow! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Sister isn't dead, Robbie. If I got killed. <laughs> Oh, God. Some people believe that when people die, there's a wonderful light as bright as the sun. All the answers to all the questions that you ever want to know are inside that light. Some people die, but they, they don't know that they've gone. They think they're still alive? Maybe they didn't want to die. They resist going into that light, however hard the light wants them. Some people just get lost on the way to the light. They need someone to guide them to it. Maybe we ought to get some shut eye. Let me call Grandma tonight. She got really excited that you're coming to stay with her. Hey, lady. Yeah, I don't blame you. Send the dang kid away. Oh, no. Dude, walk. Lead. Oh, my God. You gotta walk closer to it. Man, <laughs> these people lost it out of me, Carl. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, heck no. Nah. It don't even look good no more. Oh, ah. Oh, no, nah, no. Nope. Go tell somebody, leave. Yo, oh my God, bro.
Oh, I'm out of there. I'm running for my life. Oh, oh no. If I had enough, I would have quit. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm getting hot. My goodness. Yes, shake him. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't tell if he's shocked or excited. What is it? I think we got one. I think it recorded. Yes, it recorded. Look at all of them. Is that our house? For all those people. What about the teenager? She ain't going? <laughs> Dang, even the dog said I'm about to go too. Send the dog. Don't put him through that. <laughs> God, say the dang dog, you don't deserve it either. Call me, okay? Oh, no, nah, you ain't getting no calls from Robbie. That phone might end up blowing up in your face. Got some electrical problems as well here. 300 watt bulb. Dude, please leave. Girl, you stay away from that door. <laughs> Just, oh, my God. Oh my stupid! That's what I'm saying. I, I, I understand her pain though. It's a, I'm sure that's hard for her. We've already made arrangements for relocating the cemetery. Uh, uh, uh I wouldn't even want to be next to it, where a cemetery used to be. It's not ancient tribal burial ground. It's just people. Besides, we've done it before. Seventy-six. Right down there. But I never heard anything about it, though. Well, it's not the sort of thing one goes around advertising on a billboard or on the side of a bus. Nobody's complained until now. Well, uh, you about to complain now. Well, you better complain. That's why they got these problems, because this idiot moved the gravesite. My God. There is no death. It is only a transition to a different sphere of consciousness. She is a living presence in their spiritual earthbound plane. Her life force it is very strong. Something they desperately desire but can't have anymore. Right now, she's the closest thing to that. That is a terrible distraction from the real light that has finally come for them. These souls are not at rest, also not aware that they have passed on. Mm. Inside the spectral light, salvation, window to the next plane. Caroline must help them cross over. A terrible oh, presence is in there with her. Never sensed anything like it. It keeps Caroline very close to it and away from the spectral light. It has been using her to restrain the others. Oh my gosh. Now let's go get your daughter. Oh, good lord. Caroline, it's mommy. Can you hear me? Can you say hello to daddy? Daddy and I miss you so much. She's under restraint. Who's restraining her? There are many arms about her. Who is she more threatened by, you or your husband? Neither. Uh, Steve decides the punishment. Not fair. I'd Write never about it later. Stephen, make Caroline answer. Let's figure it out. Caroline, I want you to answer me. Tell her if she doesn't answer you, she's going to get a spanking. Oh, come on. I've never spanked the children. Oh, you answer your parents or you're going to get a real spanking from the both of us. Diane, ask about the light. Caroline? Ask! Honey, do you see a light? Tell her to go to the light. No! The 
Don't follow her. They've been following her for. Oh my God! Send her with the other boy. She pissing me off. Run to the light, baby. Mommy is waiting for you in the light. I hate you for that. Now, open the door. You're downstairs and wait by the door again. Stephen, give me the camera. God, I swear they better move out. Boy, focus. Ew. It's my handwriting. It came right out of thin air. The ball came back. It's his handwriting. Number two. Come on, hurry, kids, do something. We gotta get the kid. Oh my gosh. Pulling. What is he doing? This idiot. This idiot. Oh my God, that man. Oh, he lucky. Would not want to live there. I'm sorry. I'd have her come to any house I'm moving to. Thank God. I'm out of there. I'm like, they did not move, I swear. Are we gonna sleep here tonight? Uh I guess not. Um I wouldn't even take none of the I don't even want none of the furniture to keep it real. Don't take that dang TV. How you feel? I feel hungover, like I've been asleep for a few days. But... I feel good, Stephen. I really do. <laughs> she didn't seem to remember any of it. Oh, what a day. Good night, sweetheart. See you good again. night. Yeah. Girl, if this was me, I man, they'd have to sit up in there with me. I'm sorry. After all that, heck no. Nah. Dang, the dog's seeing it all, I guess. And throw that thing away. Oh my God. No, I'm out of here. Well, you better yell, Seth, to yell. Oh my God. Oh. 
Like, why would they even sleep in a house? I would've got a hotel. Oh my God, see, I would never leave my kids alone after that. Oh my God. Oh my God. See this idiot, he pulled too early. Oh God. Oh my gosh. Girl. Oh my God, man. This house is clean my foot. This was, see, it's just the choices. I can't. Oh, goodness. Should have stayed at a damn hotel. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Just stand up and try jumping or something. Oh my goodness. Now don't bring them up in that. Oh, I'm sorry. I would not let my husband go. I ain't gonna even lie. Oh God! Tell <laughs> Carolina, grab the other hand, Carolyn. <laughs> My God, this was just that was just so stupid. Oh my god Dude, stay in the car, what can you do? Oh, but actually, maybe you need to come look. Because this is his fault. You left the bodies, didn't you? You only moved the headstones. Right. Oh, let me get up in the back, my God. Back it up! Oh. Man, tell them to drive away. Daddy, drive away. Get in the car, stupid. Come, what are you doing? Oh boy. Yeah, then you did this, stupid. You did it. Why would you move a cemetery and leave the body to put houses on it? How disgusting.
people staring, I would've been gone. They crazy, I would've been out of there. They should've did that to begin with. Oh, boy, that was a lot. I ain't even gonna lie. This movie kind of... I don't want to say it pissed me off, but the movie kind of pissed me off low-key. It was a good movie, but it pissed me off because there was so many things. I just feel like... It, obviously, you know, I'm not... I'm not in denial. Like, obviously... um. You gotta, you know, it gotta be some kind of bad choices to keep a movie going. Because if it was, you know, obviously if I was up in the movie, the movie would have been going after, <laughs> right after, uh, you know, she said the TV people and I see the chairs, I would have been moved out. The movie would have been over, you know, <laughs> I would have been long gone. Oh, heck no. I would have been, look, I would have already been at the Holiday Inn and it would have been a boring movie, so. But I just, I just find that crazy, like. At first, she was all excited, yes, in the chair move, and then she put her own daughter there to an unknown thing, and I'm just like, why would you put your daughter right there and to, to go slide? Like, how stupid. And then, after that, then she tried to get her husband to do it like it's just some fun amusement park. Like, this ain't no joke. And, like, if you know, sorry if you hear my cat, by the way. If you know that this is going on, like, why would you sit up here? Like, the, the dad had, like, the common sense was like, uh, this ain't right. But why would you sit up here and talk about, oh, it's another part of nature we have. This. Oh, yeah, nature show got you now. And the nature, a.k.a. the tree as well. It was just, it, it was so many things that upset me. But at the same time, I think the, the storyline was really great. I think it was a good movie. I feel like it was more, it was, it had like its jump scare moments. But I don't think it was too terrible, thank goodness. Um, But it was a lot of parts that kind of, like the part that really pissed me off. I mean, obviously, I think yeah, obviously they thought the house was clean because she said this house is clean. Yeah, she didn't know what the hell she was talking about. But I feel like it's the dad's fault because she said don't pull them yet, and yet he still pulled. But I don't know. It probably still would have been a problem anyway because of what his boss did. The idiot put like he said he moved the cemetery, but never actually literally moved it. Just moved headstones. Like that's a really horrible thing to do. I can see why they was pissed off to begin with, but. The thing that got me was after all that, they put, after all that in the closet being the entry and they knowing that, like, I would have, I'm be honest with you, I'm sorry, that bath and dye my hair could have waited. I'm not even trying, I know this sounds terrible to not want to bath, but I would not want to leave my babies after I just lost one for God know how long, and then the other one that damn near got attacked and almost eaten by a damn tree. You get what I'm saying? It's like, I, I was really shocked they put them, Back, first of all, why didn't y'all go to Holiday Inn to begin? They should have been one to the most. I wouldn't even stay there. That she left them alone again. Like, and yeah, every time you leave them alone, something bad happened. Then you put them back in the room that had the point of entry to that place. And let them, had them sleep in there. That's what got, I don't care if they was leaving tonight, the next day. If you know that she was supposed to be leaving that night, then go to the hotel. I, I just felt that really shocking. I was like... You put them back in there. I, I couldn't even, I don't want to say I couldn't feel bad, but I was just like, that was just dumb to do so. But that boss, at first I was like, don't bring, don't get out there. Then I remember what he said. I'm like, oh, no, nah, nah, actually you need to see this because you need to see you caused this. You don't play with spirits or none of that. You don't do that kind of stuff. So, man, I, I was like, if anything, they need to go torture him. I know that sounds bad, but torture his tail. He deserves it. Um, I think it had a good storyline, though. I feel like it was, I do feel like it was a well uh, put together movie. It was definitely a, uh, incredible movie. It just had a lot of frustrating moments. It was moments I wouldn't have slept the parents, especially the mama. She was pissing me off the most. Um, it was a lot of people in this movie I, I wanted to slap, is what I'm trying to say. But at the same time, it was like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like some of it could have been prevented. And I think that's what keeps going through our mind. Like, this could have been prevented. And you guys stayed there and made it worse. But like I said, we wouldn't have had... The movie would have been over in six minutes if I was in it. So it's a good... If it was, like, about me. So obviously, 
you know, we, we had to have stuff happen for it to continue, or else we wouldn't have really got to the storyline. That little, that short lady, I can't remember what her name was, the one with the, the one who had like the really, the soft voice like this. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't try to imitate people's voice. Her, she, I mean, I'm glad that she seemed to know what she was talking about, because, oh boy, before that, was, they said Ryan, uh, no, not Ryan, the other guy who was there, who had the glad, oh yeah, I knew, I knew once he seen himself peeling his face off, he wasn't coming back. I was surprised he even stayed that long. It was a lot of things in the movie. It's like, I, I could go on and on. It was a great movie. Well put together. It had some jump scares. wasn't too much. I, I like that it had, even though it had some scares, it still kind of stuck to like the storyline so you didn't get lost in or try to over scare. So I thought that that was great. Um, boy, and the music had, def the music definitely heightened up the intense moments. It, it was a lot. But, like I said, I actually enjoyed the movie, and I'm shocked because, of, you know, I didn't know. I thought I might be hiding under the table, so that's a good thing. Um, if you guys would like to see the full watch along to this and see me actually screaming at the TV or screaming at my screen even more than my, even more than you've probably seen here, then yeah. Um, no, I'm kidding. But, no, if you guys want to see the full watch along, then it's going to be um, on my Patreon, so make sure you guys go and check it out, okay? Um, again, I'm on a road to 7,000 subscribers. Thank you guys again for even joining my journey. And well, uh, happy October. I will see you guys later.